Deus in auditorium meum intende Domine ad adjuvandum me festina Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo Sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum amen now Christ thou son of righteousness let dawn our darkened spirits bless the light of grace to us restore while day to earth returns once more Thou who dost give the accepted time Give to a heart that mourns for crime Let those by mercy now be cured Whom loving kindness long endured Spare not, we pray, to send us here Some penance kindly but severe So let thy gift of pardoning grace Our grievous sinfulness efface Soon will that day thy day appear And all things with its brightness cheer We will rejoice in it as we Return thereby to grace and thee Let all the world from shore to shore The gracious Trinity adore Right soon thy loving pardon grant That we our new made song may chant Amen A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, Truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face And blot out all my guilt A pure heart create for me, O God Put a steadfast spirit within me Do not cast me away from your presence Nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit Give me again the joy of your help With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. 
O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, Sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula, seculorum. Amen. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. O Lord, I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with His glory, and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside Him, where His power is concealed. You have come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the seas with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of heights, and enables me to go upon the heights. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula, Seculorum, Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. 
The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Gloria patria et filio et spiritui sancto, sicut erat in principio et non get semper et in secula seculorum amen. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. Therefore I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty, because he surrendered himself to death and was counted among the wicked. And he shall take away the sins of many and win pardon for their offenses. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words and from the hunter's snare. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. He will bring those evil men to an evil end and entrust his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the harvest at the proper season. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Per viscera misericordiae Dei nostri, in quibus visitabit nos oriens exalto, illuminare his qui in tenebris et in umbra mortis setent, ad dirigendos pedes nostros in viam pacis. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. He will bring those evil men to an evil end, and entrust his vineyard to other tenants, who will give him the harvest at the proper season.
Let us pray to Christ our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Merciful Father, may our acts of penance bring us your forgiveness, open our hearts to your love, and prepare us for the coming feast of the resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.